Welcome back to another episode of Homestead Vlogs. Today we're going to be building our catchment slash reservoir slash watering basin for the homestead garden. We're going to be building an elevated platform so that way we can gravity feed those soaker hoses without draining on the well pump because those things just don't have enough continuous draw to them. So that way we fill that guy up in one go and just let it run and it'll soak up everything. So here's what we're going to be doing. Concrete footer blocks to set ourselves up off the ground and to keep away from any rot, pressure treated four by four posts. And we're gonna go about 30 inches tall, plus those which are little footers, which are about eight inches altogether. That'll give us about 38 inches in height and with a hundred gallon in that horse trough right there. Well, that should be good and plenty of water pressure to be able to fill up those little pipes and keep the water flowing and keep our garden nice and green, especially before the big heat wave that's coming, starting basically this weekend and getting worse throughout the week. So let's get started. I'm gonna do about 30 inch tall legs, which is using two out of this, and then I'll cut four 30 inch lengths out of the two by fours, put them tandem to get the rear two legs. So let's go ahead, get measured out. We'll use the chop saw to make a good, clean, straight cut. Then we'll use the skill saw to cut our little platform out of the particle board. And then we'll get our cross braces measured out, everything cut up, loaded in the back of the super jank, down to the garden, get it installed, fill it up and test it tonight. Let's get on. And one left over. one left over here we can use for later. Let's go ahead and cut our top piece out of that particle board there. Let's go ahead and bring that over, set it up on the sawhorses, get it outlined and cut. It's not going to be exactly square because there's a little bit of angle cut off of there, but you know what? It's a scrap piece. Got to use it for something. We'll use it for now. It's going to provide plenty of support. I'm using factory edges for my squaring here. And even those are not 100% square, but you can at least rely on it a lot better than a sloppy cut, that's for darn sure. Follow. Makes it easier to line up the level on it. First we have to make our area as level as possible. Using this is a straight edge. See across. Oh, we're level over there. A little bit low right here. Let's go get, bring some dirt here. 